Oh my god! Oh! Hey yo, what up? What's Bracken? I'm gonna show you how to make some uh, grass in Cinema 4D. The very simple grass. Uh, I'm going to show you how to make better grass. The more tutorials I go into, there's going to be about three or four grass tutorials, maybe even just two. Who knows? Who knows, yo? So yeah, uh, uh, what else I gotta say? Oh yeah, make sure you check out the description to join my Discord, and if you want to just get the scene file and ignore this if you want. <laughs> so that would be very supportive. Also, check out my Patreon if you want to support me there. All good and dandy. Anyway, let me go ahead and start this up. So first off, you want to use a, a landscape. The reason why we're using a landscape is because it's automatically hilly. Like, there's automatically... I'll explain. So, what you may do by accident is use a regular plane, but you see how it's so flat? Bro, grass is not flat, so that's just, that's dumb. You don't want to use that. Grass is never... You see grass is always some type of hill. You know what I'm saying? Uh, so... Just go ahead and wipe that option out, press delete, and use that landscape because we have variation of hills. Uncheck borders at sea level so that you can have um, some, 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 uh, some, <laughs> some hills, I guess. Not an even scape. So if, if I'm going too fast or you don't understand what I'm saying, make sure you watch my beginning tutorial because if you're new to this channel, and this is the first video you've seen of me, you wanna check those out first because you will not understand the thing I am doing. You need to learn the basics of Cinema 4D to get into this, and I will not explain that in this video. I'm gonna keep this one short because it's very simple and right to the point. And you don't need a character for this either. You can just do this. And then when you're done, you can take it for yourself and add a character, do all the other stuff from the last tutorials and make your own image, you know what I'm saying? So. Let's go ahead and press C to make that editable. Even though, even though, yeah, that's that's pretty much that. So now to make our grass very easy, go to create, go to environment and check and choose grow grass. In your settings, you also you always want to use physical when using grass, cause grass looks ugly without physical render. I mean that's just facts. I'm gonna show y'all an example real quick, so just stay tuned or. I don't know, <laughs> something like that. So yeah, I'm gonna give you an example. All right, so yeah, this, look, this is grass with uh without i mean with physical render so i'm gonna show you how this looks without physical render and it's gonna look garbage look hold up go back to standard and let me do wait hold on it looks the same all right y'all look i might have to jump into this a different time you know what i'm saying i just got my point i just proved myself wrong this is bad yo okay hold up I'm gonna just stick to this tutorial normally and we're just gonna run, right, run with it. So, still use physical render for now. So, yeah, let's check global illumination. I think that's the counter right there. So, if I go back actually, and if I check global illumination, let's delete this, uh, this light. Let's go to create environment and physical sky. So, yeah, we're gonna use this. Also, let's click our physical sky. This is like a HDR. Like the last tutorial I told you guys about HDRs, this is this physical sky is very similar to an HDR, but you have these options right here. You can change the time of day and all the other stuff. So yeah, I'm going to right here. And you always want to use global illumination with uh, with physical skies. So I'm going to do another test render of the grass without and with physical render. So this is without physical. And we're gonna see how it looks. Okay. And now we're gonna see how it looks with physical. Now it still looks pretty garbage right now because our lighting is not good. Physical skies are not really good unless you modify it with your own lights. You know what I'm saying? So let me just get that ready. Physical now, this should really make a difference. So as you can see in this situation, our grass looks better. 
Uh, yeah. Now we have to config configure this grass to make it look very neat. And this is very simple. We're about to blow right through this. So let's just click our settings. I'm going to turn off GI for now. And I'm going to delete this physical sky. I'm going to add a regular light or an area light just for testing reasons. Drag this up. Let me rotate it. You should really know this process. I should not have to explain it. Like I said, if you don't know this process, you should watch my number one and two tutorials. Bam. All right. I'm going to put that light all the way over here and this should be good. Stretch it out too. Alright, so let's go into our settings. So if we click this grass material right here, we have these options over here. So the first thing you have is your color. You don't really want to play with this right now because it's pretty much good as is, but you can change it to however you want. Self-explanatory, you can make it red, yellow, uh, like alien type of grass. So yeah, but I'm not going to do that. I'm going to keep it regular earth grass and so we have all these other, other options. So blade length pretty much means how tall the grass is. I want to put this at 17. I mean, it's really dependent on the character you load in. So if you load in like a pretty big character, you want to make that blade length higher or smaller. All depends on what fits. So if I load in a sphere, that's a cylinder. Let me see, sphere. All right, so if I load this in and I go ahead and render it, I mean, let me make another light too. So I'm not getting good results with that one. Drag this up and rotate it down. Let me make it like blue too, kind of, and bow. All right, so yeah, I mean, that's pretty good for neat grass length. So let's also make some dirt. I mean, if you have a lot of grass, you're not going to really see the dirt. So we're going to just make it a brown color. But in another tutorial, I will get into like making actual decent dirt. So let me just drag that on here. Give it another render. Now, as you can see, we have like a lot of open spaces in our grass. We're gonna cover that right up. Let's click back on our grass material. Let's go to the density. So as you can see in our density, we have, uh, we have this option right here. So we make it like all the way 100. We'll, like, we'll have grass everywhere. If I open this too, let me see. If I lower the density, as you can see, we have no grass little grass much much more grass you get the point so if I just make that all the way up you know we have more grass also I need to tell you too the more density you have the higher the render time and also because our grass is like it's healed I guess you'll want to add a texture onto the density if you add a black and white texture on the density you will have more very more variation some at some places the grass will be lower and at others the grass will be higher so i will show you how i do this really quickly and let me just go ahead and choose a noise go into the noise this is very similar to the last tutorial when i went over the character package so yeah you want to choose blister turbulence and you want to make the global scale let's do like 230 you want it pretty high because you don't want it too low, then it, it will just look like flakes of grass. You don't want that. You want it like a big scale so that, like, <laughs> I can't even explain it, yo. In different places, it'll be smaller and higher. And let's also make this black one like a little bit gray because if it's like truly black, then the grass. <laughs> 
Oh man, that was that was a good sign for a joke. But uh, <laughs> I need Jesus anyway. You want it to be gray because you don't want it completely black. Because when it's completely black, at a black spot, it will be like no grass. But then if you have gray, there will be grass all the time, and there will be no like big patches, no obvious patches. If you you should get what I'm saying. Anyway, look, we got that out the way. That's density. So if I just give it a test render, it might not be that obvious because our blade length is so low. But yeah. All right. So the next thing we have is this other stuff. I'm gonna zoom in more, and then I'm going to give it another test render. So. So that's pretty good, but our grass is like, I don't know, I think it's too thick. So we have our blade width, and what this controls is the width of our grass. So I just make this like, let me just see, 0 0.08 or whatever, not zero, 0 0.08. And then I give another test render. We should see how this looks. So as you can see, that's a little bit too thin. So we can also override our density and go even more power. This might like crash your PC though. I don't suggest you do this. Um, I'm going to make my blade width to like one. And I wanna see how that looks. Also, take into account for any of you like, I don't know, deeply CG people, each speck of grass is a polygon. Each, each grass is a poly, bro. In each like length, you have all these different sides, so that includes into the vertices. If you're wondering why it takes so long to render grass, it's because each one is, is, is its own polygon, it's its own face. So that's a lot of polygons. That's, that's like a million right there. That's a million polygons to calculate. And as you can see, our grass is looking, ooh, that joint looking good. So now let's, uh, we have these options at the bottom, crinkle, bend, and wetness. <laughs> so in our wetness, this is a specularity. So I can, as you can see, our grass is like, I don't know. It's at some spots, it's kind of white. And at some spots, it's kind of green, like over here and stuff. That's what the specularity is. So I crank this all the way up which you should never do then our grass will be pretty garbage it will look so fake like well i mean you could this could work with like a rain type of environment but still at 100 though it's pretty garbo so yeah uh look yeah you don't want to use 100 percent wetness you want to keep it at like make it a little bit higher i guess i'm going to go with 30 or 33 23 shout out to LeBron. LeBron is the GOAT. <laughs> I just said 23 with LeBron. I'm in Michael Jordan, bro. I don't watch basketball. I don't care about basketball that much. But yeah. yeah I, I just took an L right there. I said 23 LeBron. Mm, that, that's disrespectful to uh, Michael Jordan. So yeah, that's the grass. I mean, we can pretty much say we're done with this tutorial. That's how you pretty much make simple grass in Cinema 4D. Uh, if you're wondering how to add a character for you newbies out there, all you gotta do is delete the sphere and import a character and resize the grass. And you don't wanna use a scale to it because that won't work. <laughs> so you grab the grass plane and you change the width and the blade width. I mean, the length and the blade width. So yeah, that's how you make grass in Cinema 4D, folks. I'm out of here. Make sure you uh, check out the description and all that other goody stuff. And I'm out. So, peace. Hey, shawty, you know I kill people. Real people from the trenches where it's real lethal. So, real wriggles. Big body with your real boy. Ill boy. Nigga need to find his chill boy. Yeah.